The Holocene has ended. What we do now and in the next few years will profoundly affect the next few thousand years. The only conditions modern humans have ever known so far are changing, and changing fast. Nothing stays the same on this planet. Everything changes. The Earth is, is going into one of these jumps, and you don't know what is going to be on the other side of those jumps. The Earth is always jumping. Things move on this planet. Things are not still. Everything is turning. As it begins to run out of fuel, the sun won't simply fade away to nothing. Its core will collapse, and the extra heat this generates will cause its outer layers to expand. The sun is now dead. Its remains slowly cooling in the freezing temperatures of deep space. The fate of the sun is the same as for all stars. One day, they must all eventually die and the cosmos will be plunged into eternal night. All stars eventually will run out of fuel. The temperature of the universe drops. The stars, one by one, in the night sky, will turn off. And there'll be no more new stars created. And so that the universe will end not with a bang, but with a whimper. And not in fire, but in ice. fuel left to burn, a white dwarf's faint glow comes from the last residual heat from its extinguished furnace. Looking at it from where the Earth is now, it would only generate the same amount of light as the full moon on a clear night. The faint glow of white dwarves will provide the only illumination in a dark and empty void littered with dead stars and black holes.
some ways it's kind of a ghost universe. It's the corpses, the zombie stars, that will take us into the future. final fate of those last stars. White dwarfs that have become so cold that they barely emit any more heat or light. Black dwarfs are dark, dense, decaying balls of degenerate matter. Little more than the ashes of stars. Their constituent atoms are so severely crushed that black dwarves are a million times denser than our sun. Stars take so long to reach this point, we believe there are currently no black dwarves in the universe. <laughs> 